Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to use the equalizer to change a sound or a voice in PowerLink CyberDirector. If you're using that, sometimes you need to adapt the voice or voice level. Uh, here I have a sample from two uh, recorded by two different microphones. So this is from my mobile phone and this is from the microphone which I'm using on my desktop PC. And now uh, you listen to that. Hope you can understand that. So there's a huge difference between these two sounds and yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to uh, show you that once again so you can listen to that again. So we can clearly say that the problem is actually, I mean, this is a good microphone. It's not the very uh, best, but it is rather good. So, but this one is from a mobile phone and it does not pick up the low frequencies. So that's a problem, but we can't, cannot add low frequencies when, we, uh, yeah, when it's just missed, I mean, the microphone missed that, but we can eliminate that on this microphone to make it similar. I mean, when we have a soundtrack and you have always like uh, something from here, then something from here, then again, maybe something from the mobile phone, it sounds weird. Probably you had this already on my videos sometimes i'm too lazy to adapt that but sometimes it sounds so strange so i'm doing that so what we can do that here this is the recording from the good microphone we can uh, try to get rid of the low frequencies very easy here in the uh, cyberlink uh, powerlink cyber director and we right click on it go to edit audio and then go to wave editor and then a separate editor will be started. It's included in the normal package of PowerLink, uh, CyberLink Power Director. So now we have the voice here. And when we just play it, of course, will be the same thing. So no difference. So what you can do, we go to the equalizer. And what I usually did, I was able to, I mean, I totally removed this low uh, frequencies like 31 and 63 hertz. So these are really low things. I mean, you could do a, maybe a little bit a nicer curve or something like that, but uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, usually it was pretty good or let's say at least okay uh, just by removing these two and so you're trying that as you can see now it already did that we can uh, double check test one, two, three, test. it is definitely it is definitely higher now and the good thing is we don't have to change and export and import or something like that. We just click on close here and it asks if we want to save the changes. We just say yes and we automatically uh, go back to this uh, Cyberlink Power Director. So I made this a little bit uh, smaller again so you can see everything. So let's go back and uh, compare and hope that it's a little bit a closer match. Okay, looks like uh, we have gone uh, maybe even a little bit too far uh, here in this case that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have to listen again. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. I mean, it's, uh, it's closer, it's better than before, but maybe I have removed too much. I should have maybe removed only the lowest level. But you can uh, try around, play around and see how this works for you. Of course, we can always go back with Ctrl C and go to the original and compare if which one was better. Test one, two, three. 
assist one two three yeah maybe that was even a, even a better match so uh yeah that was a little bit uh bad uh sample but anyway it doesn't matter uh you will definitely get the point or at least i hope you got the point really it's super easy just uh mark it then right click edit audio wave editor do what you have to do i mean um there also use the uh, use the equalizer and right click on the top to save and close again so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time